Right, let's look this beauty. So, this guy right here is the Space Mouse uh, Wireless Edition. And it just means that it is a joystick that doesn't have cable. And this helps us to move around a 3D model. Alright, it doesn't replace the mouse. So, as you see there, I got my usual mouse, which is the one that I usually use. I got my keyboard. And I also got, for my left hand, this space mouse. Now, I'm going to show you an example of how it feels when I use my 3D mouse. So, alright, let me show you the difference. So, if I want to get closer to this issue with mouse it will be rolling my scroll using the pan tool then pressing shift and at the same time pressing the middle mouse like this then uh, scrolling so I can zoom in and now I am almost there probably have to uh, select something there so you can go inside this uh, let's see I am almost there Not sure I cannot see it but all right I was too close I guess so now I can see it right there all right all that was just with a normal mouse this is not too normal but you would do it like with your normal mouse let's try now with the space mouse so in my case it's really quick because i have some experience using it so just look at how smooth this is and if i want to look inside here I, I will probably have to select something just for the sake of rotating more naturally but I can get whatever I want really easy there and see what I want all right so that's pretty cool I can also do this and show the entire thing or do this and get really close or just show you know the giz gizmo and maybe show more stuff or less stuff or even maybe move the selection box so I can move it like that I can uh, rotate this one because it's not too center it's not too parallel and I can make it um, go away you know and not see it anymore so yeah there are many advantages of using the space mouse mainly because it reduces you know the friction between trying to use your mouse and being in, in a place that is a little harder to navigate like navis works um you may get used to using you know the the keyboard and your mouse at the same time pressing down different buttons but just the space mouse will change will really change your life this is not a sponsor by any means by th the 3d connection company but i recommend it without a doubt all right so now that we know uh, the difference let's let's try to learn what i what i've done with it so let's open up the properties here so i can go to the properties and i can show you what i have so you can change the speed you have different sets of speed um if you increase the speed too much it would be a little harder to navigate maybe too fast but i usually do whenever like in here i have three settings uh, whenever I am working by me, myself and I don't care that I am going to get this or anything, I just use, <laughs> sorry about that, I just use the fastest one. But if I am on a presentation, I 
probably go with the low speed so I can just navigate really quickly and show the people where we are without uh, making them feel sick. Alright, let's, um, let's look at how we can set up this. So the 3D space connection will work within a specific app. So you have to select first the app, then bring the the properties, the 3D connection properties. And in that way you will be only making changes to that uh, app. Um, so let's see what I got. So let's go to advanced settings. I got everything by default. I didn't change anything. Um, if you have it, probably you will see the same. But on the buttons, I did make a few changes. So I got the properties here, which comes by default. Uh, you can you can select these guys. I don't remember if it came by default or I deselect them. But anyway, that's that's really useful. I find myself using this a lot. This is the left button. Okay. And the right one is a custom one. So this one I created. And I can show you in another video how I did create these um, shortcuts. But mainly what I did was to um, edit the shortcut um, file and add these guys. All right, I'll show you in another video how I did create them. Sadly, you cannot see any pictures, you cannot upload any pictures, but the main radial button. So that's kind of sad and I don't like it, but once you start using these shortcuts a lot, you will see that there is no need for any pictures or anything. Okay, with the 3D connection, you have many um, degrees of freedom. So let me show you. If you want to zoom out, let's push in here. If you want to zoom in, let's bring it here. If you want to pan to the right, like this. If you want to pan to the left, you can go like this. If you want to rotate, you can rotate like that. If you want to rotate to the other side, rotate like that. If you want to tilt it, so you push in the bottom in this side and in the upper part in this side. If you want to rotate the other way. Now you can mix all that as you are getting closer. You can pan, you can zoom, you can do all that. So it's pretty cool. It will save you a ton of time. Okay, so let me show you a few tips when everything goes wrong. So how, how can you fix these, this mouse? So the first thing is that you have an option. Let me bring it in here. So let's go to properties. You have an option to calibrate your, your 3D mouse. So you go to advanced settings and let's calibrate. So you have to not touch your your 3D mouse at all as it's calibrating and you need to wait for a notification that it will say that the calibration is complete like this one right once you have that then you can click OK and that is done that usually solves the issue now sometimes you need to unplug unplug again the dongle that comes with the 3D mouse it doesn't work over Bluetooth so that's sad you need to Make sure that you don't lose the dangle, otherwise you won't be able to use the mouse. So that's really sad, but usually it will work again if you um, plug again your dangle. Um, so usually those two things will, will make this work. Sometimes I also need to close the app, make sure that it's fully closed and then I can reopen it and you will know that you are um, that you have your space mouse working because you get 
this object mode, this icon in Revit and Navisworks. So um, yeah, you, you will know that, that it works as well. Well, when you move your, your mouse, you know, when you rotate, you will see that it's working. All right, so there are other options out there. You can also buy a huge 3D mouse that's pretty much like a station for your palm and uh, has many buttons in it. I would only go with that if you don't have to move. So if that is your office and you really feel comfortable using that much space, it's all way bigger than this small space mouse. So I got the basic one. I never used the other one, but my recommendation is just to use the small one because you can travel with it. I usually have to go to the office or go to site. Um, so it is easier to carry, to carry and I can use when, whenever I go. And you saw my setup, it's really simple. Let me show you. You can see in here, I got my uh, 3D mouse. I got my keyboard right there. And I also got my MX mouse, which is really nice as well. There are new versions of it that are quieter, but to me right now, this is enough. I really love it. This is also the MX keyboard that I also la really like. Uh, that is my mouse that I have. I only use it with my left hand. All right, so this is all for today. I hope that you can comment if you like it or if you are planning on buying it. If you do have it and you haven't seen that it works that well for you, let me know in the comments and I may do another video showing in more detail what I do and what I don't do when I use this 3D space mouse. All right, and as you are down there, you can just hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.